Hello there, and welcome to my official unboxing of the new Dwarf Iron Breakers slash Iron Drakes. Just to show you how professional this is, look at this. That's right, I already loosened the plastic to save precious seconds. Look at these sweet guys. That's what I'm going to be making, the Iron Drakes. So let's see what's inside this sucker, shall we? Well, a lovely little instruction manual here. The pieces seem to be numbered, which is nice. Lovely. Enough with the boring stuff. Bases. Oh yeah. Look at those bad boys. Can't wait to break into them. Now then, let's take a look at some of these sprues, shall we? Now, are these identical? No... Yes, they are, I think. Yep. So, let's start with these suckers, shall we? Let's zoom in a little, because we are professional around here. We can do this kind of thing. Come on. Focus. There we go. Look at that lovely shield detail. That is quite an axe head, isn't it? Let's turn it round, and then we've got the heads. These are, of course, the iron breaker heads because they have their beards exposed because they're not using flame weaponry, which I imagine would be a bad idea if you've got a long flowing beard out there in the wind. Probably set yourself on fire, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. There's the bodies there. Well, we're not going to see too much of that with the beard and whatnot in the way. This one's exactly the same, as far as I can tell. So, let's move on to the other sprue. Now then, this is where we get the juicy stuff. Look at that. Look at those sweet guns. Oh yeah, little dragon heads on the end. Some really sweet detail on these, isn't there? This is very, very nice. Oh, look what we have here. This is where we have the... A couple of the Iron Drake heads there. With the beard protectors. You know, I think all war gamers should have a beard protector. You don't want to be airbrushing and get some on your beard, do you? Shields. These are very nice shields, actually. Which I won't be using because I'm not building iron breakers out of this box, but I may have a use for the shields. I may just occasionally blue tack them onto the back of my quarrelers or thunderers if I want them to have shields for a particular game. These are very nice. Yeah, a musical instrument that possibly doubles as a weapon there. Look at that juicy banner head. That is some sweet, sweet plastic goodness. Look at those little dragons there. And this would be the Iron Breaker banner here. With the crossed axes above it. Looks like someone started a great novel there, but didn't quite finish it. Hmm, I'm sure someone could fill in the blanks. Probably not someone with the freehanding skills of a baboon, like me. Lovely shoulder pads. I know us hardcore hobbyists love some shoulder pads. Now let's see if this sprue is exactly the same. It certainly seems to be, doesn't it? Yeah, so by the looks of it, you can make two command groups out of this box, if you so desire. I don't think you can actually have units of five, so you probably wouldn't want to do that. But the option is there to you. Lovely shields. Yeah, all well, these iron break weapons are going to be going to waste. Maybe I'll find something to do with them. Let's see, is there anything I haven't looked at yet? Ooh, we haven't had a close look at these little arms here. Look at that forearm goodness. 
runes inscribed on the very gauntlets. Quite delicious, I think you'll agree. Well, that's everything that's in the box. I'm sure I'll give you another look when I've actually assembled them. So, ta-ta for now.